Another day at the Abbey begins. I wonder what today has in store for us. I have a feeling we're gonna go on lots of adventures together. Thanks for listening, Hunter. You guys are still hanging around here. Okay, it's fine. Uh oh. What do we have today? This looks good. Um. Anybody to talk to? Carol? What's going on, Carol? You ever have the feeling like you forgot something really important but aren't sure what it is? You mean such as how I defeated Lilith centuries ago? Then yes. I'm having it right now and... Wait. I think... Oh no. What? Did I feed my cat before I left? Uh, do not worry. Your cat will be fine on its own for a little while. Oh, it's not the cat I'm worried about. When Chewie gets hangry, well, who boy, better lock your doors and windows. You cannot be serious. Can't be that bad. Actually, you're right. She just teleport right through them. You know how what? hard it is to get that pink goo out of the carpet? Oh, I can't believe I did pink this. I just know Chewie's goo. going to lay eggs on my pillow again. Wait, eggs? What what are you talking about? So much mucus. Oh. What have how how far did the cats evolve from my timeline? Huh. Alright, um let's see what Robbie has to say. He wants to chat, he wants to ask a favor. Okay. I wanna ask you something, but you can't make fun of me, okay? I'll try. Well, there is this online video game tournament, and I was kind of wondering... Will you be my player too? Why not someone from... this century? Is Peter not the obvious choice? Does he not get automatically drafted? You know, I thought we've gotten pretty close. It doesn't feel right to not at least offer you the spot. Besides, there will be plenty of other tournaments for me and Peter to dominate. So, what did I do to deserve this honor, Robbie? I could ask you the same question. What, what did I do to deserve all your confidence in me? Oh, well... I don't know, I suppose... I rarely meet someone as true and honest to himself as you, Robbie. Which explains how you can master the spirit of vengeance without letting it control you. Calling someone like that back home can get you a nice beating. But I'll take it as a compliment. I sometimes wonder if you'd still think that way if it wasn't for Sparky. Don't get me wrong. We're a solid duo. There's no doubt about it. But on my own, would I be that great? I'm not so sure. Yes, Robbie. You cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And you were no sow's ear. I wasn't trying to. I don't think I was. I have known you long enough to know you were the real hero, without Sparky. You cannot fake that. Okay, okay, fine. You've made your point. Repeat it until every last bit of doubt is erased from your mind. Starting now. I am the hero. Perfect. That's right. You are the hero, Robbie. <sighs> Alright, well, that was fun. What are you doing? Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. Uh, what do three squiggly lines mean? It means you should step away before Sarah notices. Okay, so the squiggly lines just flashed red. Is that bad? Yes, actually. What is going on? Vampires. Attacking civilians in Central Park? That means we're up, right? Innocents are in danger. We gotta take care of this right now. Eddie, 
I agree completely. Oh, first time I've heard that in years. Come on, let's do some lethal protection. Alrighty then. Still feel free from those controls. I can only imagine. And I hope you never have to do more than that. Thankfully, I'm clear now. Do not jinx yourself. Trust me, no one will ever put me under their thumb ever again. Let us hope not. Let's do this. Do this. Do not seem to be a match for us. We can't let these people be a feet to our vampires. Protect them. That means you, Venom. We don't get to eat. Neither do these blood suckers. Feel free to interrupt their meals. <laughs> this shall be of great help. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Ready! I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Excellent. At least we got rid of that. Uh, oh, maybe you can maybe we can do more damage. Come on, I know you I know you can do better than that. Come on. <clears throat> How about this? There we go. A little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Alright, that's more like it. Um, sure, why not? The less we have to deal with, the better. Uh... Alright, that's it. Get out of my face. Their persistence is I said, get out of my face. Vampiric scum.
welcome assistance. A quick bite! Permission to eat that one! Away with you. Well done out there. Especially you, Venom. This is all coming back to me. We smell You again. Mephisto, what are you? Who? That's better. Now, let's get a few things straight. While perhaps one may choose to save the odd civilian. Contractually, in the fight to end the vampire scourge, the spirit of the intended agreement... Oh, come again? I did not waste my time curing you so you could save superfluous human lives. <laughs> Still boring. Do I have your attention now? We all know what you really are. A monster. The only version of you that remotely interests me, and the only reason I allowed this deal. Stop doing that! Oh, I'll stop. But you've earned an object lesson. Vampires are bad for business. Vampires keep souls from flowing to where they're most needed. And with less souls, there are more soulless. Do you understand the lesson? Because it's time for some target practice. Mm, so many targets. I just see two of them. All right. Let's see if you can do this properly. I'll give you one chance. We are not your toys. Really doing this again, huh? Just kill them all. It's really quite simple. Oh, we'll kill them, all right. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. You were too weak for this fight.
Now that was something. Your time has come. I am afraid you might not make it back from this one. There we go. <clears throat> Do a little bit of this. And now... For the finale. Oh, wait. There is no finale. We're, we have to do this for four turns. Okay, well, hey. It's better taking no damage than taking some, right? So, at least we'll be prepared now. Excellent. Ooh. <clears throat> that sounds useful. So much more efficient without those trifling morals getting in the way. You're just trying to survive your foolish game. Deny it all you like, Hunter. But you're a natural. Let's see if they have an answer for this. Mine. Consider it done. Oh, can we interest you in hosting a symbiote? Uh, no thanks. I'm I'm good. There we go. They cannot possibly match your strength. That's more like it. Here we go again.
this would work, any? This shall be of great help. Mother of bandits. I will make this quick. Is it still a legend? Oh, is it already full? No. Oh well. Alright, here we go again. endearing version of caretaker ah, so much nagging sure why not Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Now that 
out with something. There we go. What do you have to say about that? Hephisto. Some small measure of my respect, and I hope learned your lesson. The lesson is we do not like being in the dark. Out. Of course you don't. And that burning in your chest, that would be uh, indigestion. That would be regret. The most overused human seasoning. Seasoned humans are delicious. Would you? Enough. If you want this so much, stop posturing and tell us where to go. Find what you seek, where it all began. Now, eradicate the vampire threat, or join me in limbo forever. You do not dare! Right, off you go. I don't know why I bother. Alright, another relatively um, simple mission. We made it out in one piece, although that could have gotten a lot more worse. Hey, you mind checking in with Eddie? Whatever well, happened with Mephisto has him especially bummed. Hmm. Why not talk to him yourself? Uh, because I want him to cheer up. Of course. I will speak with him. All right. Thanks. Oh, and don't tell him I asked. Wouldn't want to spoil his mood any further. Sure thing, Peter. I can't believe I have to say this. Where is the big man? Oh, is he? Is he where it's easy to see where I was buried. There you are. You know, Mephisto doesn't look that tough. And how much do you think he ventures? You seem frustrated. If you need to vent, I could hold the punching bag while you hit it. Nah, I can't take everything out on Peter. That is not what I... Yeah, I know what you meant. Sorry, Hunter. Didn't mean to bite your head off. Honestly, I feel like I'm the one who's getting used as a punching bag right now. Mephisto is getting to you? Ha, <laughs> for starters. Eh, don't forget about Lilith. And with these vampires, feels like everyone's forming a line. That is a lot. Hmm. Your mother controlled me. She took away my free will. Now Mephisto has me under his thumb. I'm tired of being someone's puppet. You are angry, and you should be. Channel it. Use it to fuel the battles ahead. Yeah, I got no shortage of fuel, so don't worry. But I get your point. My symbiote is a great companion, but makes it hard for me to think straight when I get worked up. You know, I always thought of myself as the lethal protector. I can be the bad guy if it means protecting the innocent, but Mephisto has me all twisted up. It makes me think I can't even do that. Sounds mm. like the only thing left to do is teach Mephisto not to mess with the Midnight Suns. Huh. All right. I can get on board with that. You know, I was, I was actually thinking about that already. You ever heard of the legendary Spear of Perseus? And not, not the fabled hero who beheaded Medusa, but the real-life Macedonian king. A book in the library says he possessed a god-forged spear that made him invincible. Now, something oh. like that uh, might kill Mephisto. Hmm. If Perseus was invincible, what happened to him? 
Oh, his territory was eventually conquered by the Romans. But I'm sure that's only because the spear had been stolen before then. You really believe a blade like this still exists? Well, yeah, it's indestructible. It's gotta be somewhere. Alright. Well, who knows? You should speak to Caretaker or Doctor Strange. I am sure they could offer details about the spear you would find enlightening. Are you saying that I can't trust my own sources? Those party poopers are just telling me that chasing after the spear is a fool's errand. But, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm taking the screwball approach to things like I always do. But still, I have to do something. Give me some time to think. Alright. I'll leave you to it, Eddie. Mephisto is a bully. Someone needs to stand up to him and put him in his place. Hey, Carol. Anything else on your mind? Uh, oh. Not really, I guess. Charlie! Good girl, Charlie. How you doing? Not causing any trouble, are you? Certainly hope not. Doctor, are you familiar with the Spear of Perseus? Hunter, please. I'm getting a bit old for children's fables, don't you think? Uh. Okay, so it is just a story? The spear isn't a real, magical artifact? <laughs> no, far from it. In fact, the spear of Perseus is really a misnomer. What do you mean? How so? Well, the spear of Perseus isn't a physical blade. It's a military tactic. Perseus used to arrange his soldiers into a spear-like formation on the battlefield. That oh. ridiculous legend about a supernatural weapon came centuries later. I see. I see. I just talked to Eddie, and he is convinced the spear is real. He hopes to hunt it down to use it against Mephisto. Oh, by the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I hope he enjoys chasing wild geese, because that is what he is about to do. Doctor, knowing Eddie, I worry he might find something that he believes is actually magical. Whatever he finds is all but guaranteed to be a chintzy replica, likely ripped from a museum gift shop. I am sure Mephisto will enjoy using it as a back-scratcher. Indeed. Let's hope Eddie gets bored with this tale before that happens. Hmm. I suppose that's all we can do right now. Hey, Peter. You talk to Eddie? How's yeah. he doing? Well... Encounters with wild animals go smoother. Ah, <sighs> sounds about right. Eddie has more in common with a honey badger than he'd like to admit. He needs time to recover, but it seems he will be all right. Sure, but how do I put this delicately? I'm concerned his emotions will get the better of him. Mm. How so? Well, Eddie was always an emotional tornado, but the symbiote doesn't help. It feeds off his emotions, enhances them. Right. His feelings are not his own? Oh, they are, but they're amplified, sometimes to a dangerous degree. Take it from me, the symbiote can really wind your gears. Hmm. Sounds like, um... Eddie will have an easier time taming his impulses if he feels like part of the team. You're right about that. I hope the rest of the team can be patient with him while he adjusts. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. If he stops acting like the Eddie I know, you'll be the first to hear it. Alright. Good. Uh, good night, I guess. Nothing much to do here, so I'll just hit the bed.